I think what motivates me is my kids and thinking about the kind of future that they'll have. My grandfather said to me that all of the generations that came before him have had a relatively similar lifestyle. <laughs> Wanna go and have some brekkie? Yeah, that's okay. I would like my kids to have a similar life that I've had. We were able to go to the beach. We were able to go to the park. We were able to listen to the birds outside. We live on an island. Will this island even be here? If you're in any industry and you're not thinking about climate change, I don't know what you're thinking about. Most people don't realize this, but the cement industry represents about 7% of global greenhouse gas emissions. We're building at record rates. We'll be building a new New York City every single month for the next 40 years. What gives me comfort is that I'm doing what I can within the concrete industry. It just, are we gonna change fast enough? Growing up, there was never any waste in our house. Everything uh, was reused and recycled. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make Mom, another painting out of it. Mom wants it. She was actually asking about it the other day. Oh, there it is. Got it. Mom. There we go. Found it. I found that bucket that we were just talking about in that picture from the '80s. She uh, taught us that everything has value, and that your first thought should not be to throw something out, but should be can. Can you reuse that item uh, and recycle it into something else? Give it new life. That's what we do at Carbon Care. That really interested me from day one. So when I first started, I legitimately didn't know that buildings generate 40% of annual global carbon emissions. Every time you're making a ton of cement, you're releasing about a ton of CO2. We take a waste product, carbon dioxide, and put it into concrete. Once we introduce the CO2, it's a permanent removal of carbon. The average building built with Carbon Cure saves as much CO2 as planting a forest the size of Central Park. We are showing that concrete can be a solution to climate change. The technology is actually installed in about a day. We really are just scratching the surface. So if you look at the global concrete industry, there's about 100,000 plants on Earth. We're in just over 500, so we have so much more opportunity to grow. It's really all about speed. Being a signatory to the Climate Pledge forces us to accelerate our transition to a greener economy. Because the climate change clock is ticking and we really don't have enough time here, bringing a technology to market in 20 years is not gonna cut it. The kids keep me up at night. But besides that, what keeps me up at night is if we wait too long, it will be too late. What should we do first? Sunflower. Do you want me to get some containers to put them in? Yeah. I think I have a bit of a sense of responsibility with the opportunity that I've been given to try to make a difference and change the course of history. My mom used to say, anything that's worth having is hard to get. So if we're going to try to solve climate change, like that is not easy to do. I'm gonna do everything I can to try and figure it out so that we can carry on this beautiful life that we've all been living for many more generations.